Hey, it's your boy Joey. Fun Trip Garage, again. Got a special package today. Uh, as we all know, I have fuel line issues in my truck, and all the metal hard lines are super rusty, and last year I had one explode on me. Kind of rigged it up, got it working well enough I can drive. But it's been acting funny lately, and I finally ordered some stuff. This is PTFE lined uh, nylon braided hose. Not as good as the stainless steel, but it was black and for my purposes, this will work fine for now. I got two of these. They are 3 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, I forget. I'll have to double check. Uh, connectors, quick connectors to the GM quick connect style. To AN-6. So that will go to this. Just screws in there, kind of like so. And you just snug it up. There is no need for any sealant on this connection or this connection. And when I get outside, I'm going to show you how to do this one. I got this tool. I'm not exactly sure what it's for. It came with all of this stuff. I used it to cram on, I should have opened one of these. So I've got all sorts of fittings, some 90s, some 180s, some straights. It was all a kit for about 90 bucks from, now maybe I should be doing this the right way. All right. So I've got a bunch of fittings. 90s, 45, 180s, and straights. I've got this tool too. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what it's for, but I'll show you what I used it for. Don't see it used in these instructions at all, but bought it all on Amazon from Evil Energy. It was about 80 bucks, I think. I will, of course, link a description, or link, put a link in the description. I also got these. They are self-tapping screws. Uh, at 15 bucks variety of sizes. I will probably be using these. I already have a bunch of uh, uh, clamps, rubber clamps from the Harbor Freight. And I'm going to use the self-tapping screws to hold them onto the frame so my hose isn't flopping all over the place. All right, we're back, we're outside. It's a little bit windy, sorry about the noise. We got things set up. Won't be doing a final setup on this. This is, this is definitely longer than I need, which is good. So I think it'll fit to the back over here somewhere. These are the little rubber, rubber things I was talking about. See? Rubber with a metal band around it. Oof. Hair in the mouth. 
Uh, looks like I only have two. Oh, that's really big out there. Let's see about this one. All right, these ones will fit. I got four. That'll work. Should get some better sized ones, but whatever. This will all work for now. Not to do this. Where is my end? Now from everything I've read, if you're going to cut this, especially the stainless steel braided one, you want to tape it and then cut it with a cutoff wheel and then chop off all the little ends. I'm not doing that currently, so that will be a different video. This came with some tape wrapped around it. You will see Oh, I can't. I don't know how to work this camera. App. But it's a little bit frayed there on the end. When you cut it, there will be a lot of that. So the first thing you want to do after pulling your fitting apart. I'll take it all apart. Set it in the bed of the truck. You take the one end and funny looking side without the wrench connector part. Push that down first. Boom. Next you want to take a pick or something and open this. So I got this tool, I'm going to use it. I'm putting the beveled edge to the outside. And now I just push it in there. And you will know when it's on there. Not sure if this will show up on camera. But you can look. And you'll see when the white PFT is butted up against the inside edge of this thing. There we go, that's better. So, get us started with this. Pound it down with this, without that, and then get this and straighten it out. Now you got your one connector. You got the uh, male end, female end, male end goes inside, just like so. Then you go up like that. There's some special tools. There's one for place grip. I'm not sure which direction I need these pointing. And then of course this one will go on there. Just like that. This one I can tighten down because it doesn't matter. It's a quick connect. There's a different style, which I will probably upgrade to in the future. Yeah, it is three quarter inch.
so easy to turn. Maybe the old style wouldn't do that. spins and you will notice there's no gap and the ridges all line up that's how you know that is tight don't have to go cranking on a super crazy this is the one I'm putting on the engine and if you've watched my other videos I could probably link it. I'm doing a 90 because as of right now the fuel level sender points out that way. So we're gonna do a 90 and go out. Actually I'll probably go this way to use up some of the slack. Come around and go down the frame rail up into the engine bay. I'll show that video another day because it's cold as hell. And I've got to find my quick release tool for the front or rig it off there with a pick. Alright, that's my simple video for today. Never done that before. Fairly easy. People make it look harder than it is. Uh, yeah, when I connect it, I'll show you what I do and when I get the new tank or if I get another kit for the CJ here I'll show you how to cut them and do more connections and some other things I've been watching a lot of videos on this so we'll see what's up anyways peace out stay safe wash your damn hands and stay away from people right now because you know virus time Mike says, like, rate, comment, subscribe, watch a new video, subscribe, I don't know, figure it out. Meow, meow, meow.